today I wanna to talk about boxed corners. So I'm gonna do a quick little demo. So Casey, if you wanna come on over here, this is what I mean by the boxed corners. So when you want something to be stand upable, you're going to box corners and it's really, really not difficult. So I have, obviously this is just a little sample here. So I have my little pieces of fabric sewn here across the sides and across the bottom. And then all I wanna do is literally cut the corners out. So mathematically, if I want to have a three inch bottom, I'm going to box it at one and a half on each side. So it's really simple math. Now, Carolina Moore has this fabulous boxed bag template. We absolutely love these. We're on our third order of these. So this is what I've been using. And the beauty of using this particular template are these little teardrops. If you are used to using, I don't know if you can see those there. Maybe you can see them better now. Perfect. So the beauty of this is when you are boxing, and I'm going to do this at one and a half, and I'm gonna do it from the edge. So I'm gonna line it up one and a half, one and a half here. So typically when I do this with a regular ruler, I have to stop my rotary cutter and hopefully not cut further in to the fabric. So what these teardrops do is it actually stops the rotary cutter at exactly the point I want it to be without taking extra little bits of my fabric out chop that part off, which I really like because then when you put it together, you don't have little slices out of your fabric, which has always been a problem for me. So again, I'm going to do one and a half on both sides, line that up here. And the rotary cutter just goes right into that little teardrop and stops the cutting. I'm actually cutting on our beefy waxed, or not wax canvas, our beefy canvas. So it's really, this is, um, I think this is 15 weight. It's great for making bags. You can see that it is stand upable without any interfacing whatsoever because of the thickness of the canvas. So we have that in a lot of colors on the website. Anyway, so now I'm ready to box my corners all I need to do, and what I like to do, is open up my seams. I'm just gonna finger press these because it will make matching the seams much easier. This is kind of a rough way of doing this, but I just wanted to show you the amazing ruler, number one, but also how easy it is to get the bottom of your bag boxed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch these two pieces, line up the side seam to the bottom seam, and then I am going to sew across the bottom with about a, you can do, usually bags you're going to do a half of an inch seam because this is such a small little piece of kind of scrap fabric here, although I think it's gonna be cute. I think I'm gonna put them together and actually make like a, I don't know, maybe a little thread catcher or something. So I'm gonna walk over to the sewing machine if you wanna come on over. And I am just going to sew this with about a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. So simple, so satisfying. All right, so there's one. And when I'm done with this, um, we will walk over to the beefy canvas so you can see this canvas that I'm using. Again, it's great because you don't need a lot of interfacing because it is so thick. And there we go. I know this is a really simple technique, but again, we do get asked 
how we box corners. And so now I would trim that down. I'm not going to take the time to do that, but we will just turn it right side out and poke out the bottoms there. So you can see that that seam matches up really nice on both sides. And I, I tend not to use pins or clips unless I've got a really large project, but you can always use, you can always use that. So there's my boxed bottom. That should measure, that should measure right about three inches because I cut it out one and a half by one and a half. So this is a boxed corner for a little bag. And again, I think I'm gonna put those two pieces together and make a cute little thread catcher.